In this lesson, we're going to start looking at how to set up our DMX project. So uh, I'm going to take you through the steps of the Epic Launcher. Uh, we're going to use Unreal Engine 5. I've got 5.03 downloaded. Um, 5.1 has just come out this week. If you're watching this in two years' time, this was the week that 5.1 came out. Um, we're very excited. It's got a lot of new features for DMX, but I haven't downloaded it yet. I haven't looked into it, and I want to build this tutorial now based on 5. I don't think anything we're doing is going to change dramatically, um, but yeah, well, at least we're working in Unreal 5, not the 4.2 range, because that would be slightly different. If you want to download a new version, you click on this install a new version of the Unreal Engine. Um, it gives you an option. See, I've got 5.1 there I could download. Um, I could ooh, scroll down here. There should be some of the older versions. Um, it's not even giving me an option for 5, which is interesting. Uh, and then you click install and give it a few hours. It will take a long time to download. It's a big project, uh, a big piece of software. Um, we have the options here to set some uh, some options for it. Except it's current, we can install uh, starter content and things into our system. So one of the things we can do is make sure we've got the packages that we might want to deploy into. We don't need any of this right now. You see it's saying here required storage space, 123 gigabytes. That's why you don't want to have too many versions on your computer. Um, and install plugins. We have, I have a few plugins already installed. Um, we're not going to need plugins for this project, so don't worry about that. Uh, towards the end, I may add a couple of marketplace assets just to spice up the project a little bit, get some nice UI assets in. Uh, as I mentioned in an earlier episode, if I show you, I'm a bit of a junkie for marketplace assets. The marketplace is just brilliant for finding all sorts of amazing things. Like all this mega stand stuff you look at the moment is all, is all free anyway. But um, I've got some really amazing assets that can do uh, do some great things, just get you going in Unreal sometimes. Or you can figure out how someone else did something, or you can look at another person's workflow. Uh, and while I'm on that, I suggest looking at Humble Bundle, if you haven't ever heard of it before. Uh, they often release these, these kits. You can get a dozen or so Unreal Engine assets for $25 or something. Um, you have to keep an eye on it and see when these deals come out. They last about 30 days. You donate money, you go to charity, and you get access to, to assets or training materials. It's well worth checking. So I'm going to launch this, and we're going to do quite a lot of pausing of the video while things load. So um, if I suddenly skip ahead, it's because I'm pausing to get through this. Oh, limited storage space It's because I'm doing so much, um, uh, so many videos at the moment. So I'm going to show you, oh, it came up quicker than I thought. So I've got a lot of my projects here. Right, so I want to show you, first of all, these are the different presets that you could use. Uh, if I click on film and video live events, film, video and live events, in here is all the tools that are kind of interesting to, to me. Um, virtual production tools, end display for doing multiple screens on stage, and the DMX system. And if I click on this, you'll see the picture of the visualizer from the last video that I showed you. So you might want to, uh, to, to load this up if you're building a, uh, a 3D visualizer. Uh, you've got some buttons here to click on. Starter content is if you want to include some extra materials and, uh, and assets. We don't actually need that for this project. So you could click it off, we're not going to use it. Ray tracing, only use this if you have a really powerful computer. Uh, I suggest for the DMX control console building, you don't need ray tracing. Ray tracing creates uh, much more realistic lighting. It bounces lights around the materials in the scene, so you get all these uh, additional uh, light bounces that can create the glow or the reflection from objects. Uh, if you're doing something that looks really, really smart with, with DMX lighting, you might want that. But frankly, I don't think you'd ray trace it at the frame rate that you'd need. So maybe best to avoid that. So just letting you know that's there. We're not actually going to load that. We're going to we're going to load up a uh, something from the games menu. Um, oh, there's it's really cool things in here if you wanted to go into virtual reality or third persons. But we just want a blank project. Um, the reason for that is that we're just building a user interface. We've got no 3D rendering. Uh, we don't need any of the any of the assets or the tools that any of these packages will dump on our computer for us. Um, when you load up some of these things, particularly some of these these bigger ones, you know the ArcVis stuff, um, it is really, really <laughs> full of stuff you just don't need, uh, and it takes up a lot of lot of room, uh, and we don't need that. So a blank project's fine, and we're going to load the DMX plugin, just the plugin that we need, rather than all the plugins that they think we might need. You've got the option to make a blueprint version or a C plus plus version. This is all about your uh, what's underneath the package. Um, when I'm building projects for uh, professional use, I, I start in C++. You can still do blueprints in it, but underneath there's a lot more C++ stuff you can get access to. We're going to do blueprints for this project because we just don't need 
all the C++ um, uh, components. Target platforms, desktop, um, you've got a mobile option as well. Uh, what this does, it loads all the mobile tool sets in. Uh, we're going to stay with desktop because we're working on our desktop. Uh, sometimes it's useful to keep it on mobile just because it optimizes the, uh, the whole engine a bit. But there's also this quality preset where we can do that. There's only two options, maximum and scalable. Maximum is just your high quality, you know, best resolution possible, uh, everything on at the max. So that's great for your games, for visualization. We're not doing that. We're building a user interface. It is not what Unreal Engine was designed for. We just need scalable. Scalable actually still looks pretty cool. So if I'm building an AR app or something on a tablet, I just put this to mobile and scalable and I can have full 3D scenes. Scalable, I don't know why they, oh, I click on starter content, I don't know why they call it scalable, it's a very funny name, but basically it's the minimum settings. So we're gonna work with that. Don't need starter content, don't need ray tracing. My project, we don't wanna call it my project, we're gonna call it DMX console. So we can find it later. And that's it, we're gonna click create. And it will load up. Now yeah, it's quick for me. So I'm going to drag this over because I've got a super wide screen, um, which is very handy when you're doing development, but I need to work in an HD screen format so you can see the videos. And hopefully I've positioned this nice and carefully so that my camera sits nicely in the um, in the corner here so I'm not blocking out any of the, the stuff that we need to see that's important. So even though I loaded the blank project, it is, um, it's got a world in it. We don't need that. So we're going to start completely from scratch with a new project. So we're going to click File, New Level, and it gives us an option what to load. We're going to choose Empty Level, just nothing in it. Open World is you know, for RPG playing, you can start from scratch with an open world uh, project, there's nothing in it, but it'll go on forever. Uh, basic is, um, is is kind of what we tend to go to as a, as a, as a first base when we're building anything. Uh, empty level is what we're going to use today. Create. That's it. I now have an empty level. You can just see the UI at the bottom, like the sort of floor plane. Um, we'll never see anything in this. Whenever we click load, we're just going to have a blank screen. Uh, obviously, we're going to get into all of that later. Um, Right, I'm going to leave it there because I've gone a bit further than I meant to and we're going to come into now in the next lessons how to load up the DMX plugins and set up our project settings.